Hi guys, this tutorial is all about making our life easier in AutoCAD and optimizing our workflow. We're going to look at crosshair and grip size, we'll change the display color, uh, implement automatic saving and go through optimizing our keyboard shortcuts. So first thing we want to do is go to options and from here we can change the crosshair size. Uh, this is more of a personal preference, but I find the larger the crosshair size, uh, it, it really helps when lining up, uh, snapping to other lines. As you can see, they almost extend out like Excel lines themselves, so that can be quite handy. So from this options panel, we can then go in and change our color scheme to dark. And if we select colors, we want to change our background color to black. Now this will make things so much easier on your eyes, uh, particularly when you're working in a dark environment. Your eyes will really thank you for it. Go back to options. And from here, we can then play around with our grip size. Again, this is up to your personal preference. Uh, you may find a larger pick box area uh, helpful, particularly uh, if you're using a small screen. Another important feature that I think is worth turning on is automatic saving. And of course you can set the interval times to 10, 10 minutes or an hour depending on how much work you want backed up. Uh, and of course these, these files are saved into your .bak files and they're along with your save files so they'll always be there on hand if you need them, which could be a real lifesaver. Um, let's now go in and check our unit, units, depending on obviously the metric or imperial, we've got it set up here for decimal place. And the precision, I like to keep it to two decimal places, just keeps things nice and tidy. Of course if you require more accuracy you can change that higher, and I keep the angle to decimal as well. Now another very very helpful shortcut is changing our command keys. Uh, for some reason AutoCAD defaults the copy command to CO and circle is C. So whenever you go to copy something I like to just be able to hit C and then enter it really speeds things up and I think the copy command is used way way more than than circles so in order to do that and in fact for any command that you want to customize we type in alias edit and from here we can scroll down to the command that we want and edit the input type on the keyboard so here we scroll down and we find the circle command and we edit it and let's change that to CI and now if we change the copy command we'll just go in there and label that C nice and easy Save these changes and you'll find you'll be updated. So guys, this has just been a few little uh, tips to help you optimize your workflow a little bit. There are plenty more things you can change and tweak with. Um, so this might just encourage you to, to go in and change things to how you like them. 
and that concludes the tutorial. Thanks for watching.